Hello and welcome back to Football for the Fans, where the fans come for everything football. Uh, today I am actually releasing a FIFA video, but the thing is I wasn't really happy with how the audio came out. So I'm going to try a different style of commentary and analysis of the game. So I've already recorded it. The video without me talking is ready to go. And if you guys enjoy this more, let me know. I'm going to work in 45 minutes. So. I'm going to get this started. Let's get into it. As you can tell, we are sitting at the top of the league. Well, equal top of the league. Three points after our first game. Undefeated so far is Shrewsbury Town. We are very excited to get into the next game. So we actually have our first away game coming up. We get a transfer off here for Oli Nurburn, who I had so many troubles with pronouncing his name last time. But the Granada International uh, will not be departing the team just yet. But here is the lineup for our match against MK Dons, which I've fast forwarded straight through. And let's get into kickoff now. Kieran Agar is going to be a massive threat in this game. Get ready for it. Here is not Keanu Reeves. Passes upwards towards Laurent, the best player in the previous match, as he, he will be referred to now. Sean Goss through towards Laurent, but unfortunately Keanu Reeves cuts it out. Norburn out wide to Whoopi Goldberg. Agar just winning that ball there. Not tracked down by Goss quickly enough. Agar on the ball again. Forward towards Thompson now in towards Healy. Healy with a chance of fire. Agar Kenny with a through ball here. Here comes the keeper. Who's going to get there first? It's the keeper, Max O'Leary. Well done to him. Kieran Agar inside the box now. Right foot now. He has a strike. Just blocked off by Rose Sean Williams. Whaley. Cummings with a through ball chance there, but it's put over the top weirdly by Sean Whaley, and that's a poor piece of decision making by him there. It will be a Shrewsbury throw in, but they could have scored a goal from there. Whoopi Goldburn to take the throw in. Wide to Britain, it's been left for him. What can he do? Can he cross it in? He bags little closing him down, but it's going to be Pierre to win that. Straight to Kieran Agard, who puts it wide with a good shot. Goss. Lawrence, best player from episode one with a good pass there into Goss. What's Goss going to do from here? Long shot from range. Saved by Nichols over the bar. Norburn whips it in. Oh, it's off the line. It was Pierre, I believe. And Nichols with a great save. I'm not sure who cleared it off the line, but wow, what a save that is. Up comes Pierre. Headed downwards. And it's the man on the near post. Sticks out a left foot and clears it away. It'll be another corner. What can Shrewsbury do again? Keeping the pressure on. It's Pierre again. Easy save for Nichols this time. MK Don survived just before half time. Outside towards Laurent. Best player from episode one, but it's a poor pass from the best player from episode one. You'll be fine, Healy, and that will be half time there. Shrewsbury Town finding themselves deadlocked here at. MK Dons, the team with a reputation that was uh, built and formed from the bottom of a chip bag, to be honest. The best chance came uh, to Pierre's big head. Shrewsbury kicking off for the second half straight in at Hamilton Road. Cummings. Norburn. Whoopi Goldburn. Norburn Goldburn. Love that. And that is an optimistic ball, to say the least. Cummings. Cummings to Norburn. From distance. Norburn! Straight at the keeper, Nichols. Agard wins it out of the air again. What a game he's having. Maybe we'll look to sign him. Agard finds Britain out wide. Being closed by Whoopi Goldberg. That's a foul there. It should be a yellow card for him, and it will be. Free kick MK Dons. Gilby on it. Whipped in deep. Very deep. Very, very deep. Max O'Leary is weirdly coming for that because Britain's kept in. He has to be careful. But Laurent with an excellent tackle. Throw in for Shrewsbury. And if you've just seen there, Umtiti's been transferred to Man City. Wow, that rhymes. Laurent. Through ball chance there for Sean Whaley. He's chipped it. Oh, Sean Whaley, that's horrible. Laurent, can he find the through ball? He does. It's Sean Whaley. Oh, looking for Cummings on the header, but no. Snuffed out. And Moore Taylor puts it behind from a corner. Cummings, Cummings over the top towards Sean Whaley. He's very much onside. No man in the box. He'll have to do it himself. Holds it up. Comes back well. Inside is Cummings. Inside is Cummings. Through ball towards... Oh, gosh, and it didn't happen there. Love, I need to go to work soon. Oh, my gosh. Josh Laurent. Oh, he's won that well. And he's beaten Lewington. And here comes Laurent. It's three on three. Here comes Laurent. What can Laurent do with it? Comes inside. Onto his left foot. Back onto his right foot. Unleashes the shot. What a strike. What a save. And it's still nil all here. Oh, it's hanging over the top towards Britain. Has to be careful here. Does Whoopi Goldberg because he's on the yellow card. Through over the top towards Max Leary. Can he get that? Oh, well done, Max Leary. But he was offside. So he would have been protected either way. Seven minutes left of normal time. For Shrewsbury to knack a winner. Edge of the box. Chipped offside surely. And it is. O'Leary will claim still. But it was definitely an offside there. Shrewsbury will play short. Here is Roshan Williams. Excellent. Excellent through ball to Donald Love. Risky as all heck. But certainly a great through ball. Here comes Love down the right hand side. Cuts inside. Love still the right back. Finds Sean Goss. Don't shoot son. Inside to Norburn. Norburn holding it up well. Unleashes some space, firing on the left foot. Ah, oh, but it's just won by the defence. And Boateng will be able to clear. And Cargill, who's just come on the pitch, 
will be the last person to touch the ball before the ref blows his final whistle. It remains at deadlock. Managers shake hands, but I'm sure both will be wondering why they didn't snuff out some chances. Best chances came to Kieran Agard and of course to Pierre in the first half. But as we go into the uh, as we go into the press conference, uh, I'm not too happy with the performance. Uh, but of course, there is lots to work on. Um, obviously, we should have won, as I would say. Um, I do believe that Walsh was a good player today in defence for them, slash defensive midfield. Uh, and that's all for today. So we'll do some training. I'm taking out Lang, and I want to put in a player that we actually own and aren't learning in. So I decide actually to put in a centre-back, Roshan Williams having two training sessions, because I'm hoping that he can even be a squad player when we make it into the uh, Premier League one day, if we do. Simulating mixed A's and F's, so all kinds of results there. But we've got a game against Bristol Rovers in the EFL Cup coming in just two days. So I will now stop recording there and go to work, because otherwise... I'm gonna be late. And we are, oh God, you're not focused at all. Hello, focus. Hello, thank you. We are. Hi, do you wanna be in the video too? Hi everybody, this is my dog. Hello, say hi. There you are. Are you happy? Yes? That's a yes. Oh, I'm gonna set this up again now. I'm gonna work. Right, we are back. Shh. We are back. And uh, let's get into the second part of this video. We have another game to go, uh, as well as looking at some free agents. And uh, let's get into it. As you can see here, looking at Ivan Goranov from free agents list, and we're going to actually sign him. Uh, spoiler alert, I forget to play him in the next game. Uh, I was just so excited to be playing the game that I just completely forgot to play him. Genius. Cool, so he is signed, and we're now getting into the next game against Bristol Rovers. Of course, they can play in their away kit, even though they're at home, because we don't like them. This is the lineup, which we will change around a little bit, because it is the EFL Cup. So I believe that Hart goes in because he has slightly more pace than Bobby Goldberg. Um, Edwards comes in, I think. Maybe not. Vela, no. Vela comes in. As does Omar Beckles to replace uh, Pierre. He was my least favourite of the three centre-backs at the back. As you can see there, Goranov is there to be coming on the pitch, but I forgot about him because I'm good at this game. Uh, and Sears makes his debut at right back in place of Donald Love. Ian Ramsey, I think Ian Ramsey will have to wait. Ramsey will have to wait. And Udo made the bench. So here we are, let's get into the second game of the episode. It's Bristol Rovers at home to Shrewsbury in the EFL Cup. And off we go. Abu Agogo, former Shrewsbury player, of course. Um, playing in the midfield of Bristol Rovers today. Let's see if we can get the better of him and show him why he shouldn't have left. Hart tracking down, and it's crossed into the box, and Ebank Lendl will surely be able to get it away. It's Williams he ends up getting it away. Josh Laurent on the ball, the best player from episode one, but it's one back by Abu Wagogo, showing us why we shouldn't have sold him. Ebank Lendl loses out the ball in a dangerous area. Can this be tracked back? Riley on the edge of the box now. Left foot a pass, but Josh Laurent again is there to snuff it out, and Max O'Leary will clear to Sears, and Sears has space down the right flank, inside towards Laurent. On the ball, heats it. Shut up. Through towards Jason Cummings. Can he hold off mayonnaise? Mayonnaise! Here is Vela. Through to Whaley. Can he create some space here. He has. He's beaten his man. He's still on goal. He's still on goal. Sean Whaley. What has happened there? Sean. You've taken a shot into Sean into 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 Cummings' face, mate. What? What happened there? Clark Harris. On the, Clark Harris on the ball. He literally just. Roxy. Shh. He literally just. Smacked it as hard as he could into his mate's face, and now we've lost the ball. Ryland needs a box like a shot. O'Leary clears. <sighs> Imagine being through on goal and then just trying to kill your strike partner. That's just not right. What are you doing? Here is <laughs> here is Vela, Davies, <laughs> Stuart Little inside to Abu Agogo. Upson plays a terrible ball to Sean Goss. Finds. Vela, Whaley, Vela, two Cummings with a man outside. It's Josh Lawrence. Oh, he's hit the crossbar. He's hit the crossbar. It's back to Sean. Go <laughs> Silent. What a strike. How are we not winning? Sean Whaley's tried to kill his strike partner because he wants to play as a sole striker rather than having to share the load of goals. And uh, apparently the crossbar is... a. Uh, well, it's there, isn't it? Commentary. O'Leary clears it. 
Uh, what is it with people in the Shrewsbury team trying to kill each other with, with hospital passes? Here is Ebanks Linder. Williams loses it to Clark Harris. Here is Upson back to Clark Harris. Back to Riley. Way over the bar. And Shrewsbury playing weird, to say the least. Commentary. Oh, gosh. Max O'Leary, what have you done? Max O'Leary to Riley. Riley. Oh, what a save by Max O'Leary. And again, Clark Harris. And it's in, but it's going to be offside. Shrewsbury escapes somehow. Why do we suck? What? Why do I suck? I've just shot myself in the foot about 15 times in this game. I've tried to kill my strike partner. I've tried to kill my goalkeeper using my goalkeeper. I've tried to kill a crossbar. And I've tried to kill Omar Beckles making his debut. I'm really sorry. Commentary. A boo a go go. Wake me up. A boo a go go. Towards Riley. Riley turned well past. A boo a go go is fouled. Edge of the box. Ref calling for advantage to be played. Back to Riley. Easy save for O'Leary. Two massive chances for both teams to go ahead so far uh, this side of the 45, but no one has seemed to take him, so you'd say it's fair at the moment. Swung inside, but no one's there. Omar Beckles will do a great little pass to Sean Goss, and that will be half-time. Half-time between Bristol Rovers and Shrewsbury Town here at Court Lane. It remains nil all despite crossbar hits. Poor misdirected uh, shots, uh, passes from goalkeepers, and it's it's it's... It's going to open up in the second half. I reckon I don't think they can remain at nil all, but we will see. Back to Cummings. What can they do from here? Here is Cummings. He's beaten Mayonnaise. Finds Sean Whaley into the box, but he turns the wrong way, and it will be called back for a foul. Shrewsbury, 32 yards out, the computer reckons. Who is the best free kick taker? It is Sean Goss with quite excellent free kick stats, so he will go on to the left foot of German with a chance to make himself a hero here. What can he do? Was it just above... Oh, it's an easy save in the end. Laurent snuffed out by Mayonnaise. Who is this guy? Here come Clark Harris and Bristol with chance to run forward, but it's going to be a foul. Surely it's not. The referee raises it away. Great tackle in the end. Chance for Sean Whaley to run through. Here is Sean Whaley. No, it's snuffed out by Mayonnaise again. Here is Josh Lawrence driving, and he gets in the way of his own player. Here is Leahy crossing it in. There's a chance if he can get on the end of it, but the keeper snuffs it out and takes out the man. Lucky he didn't concede a penalty there. Little over the top towards Clark Harris. The keeper is out. Keeper, what are you doing? Keeper, what are you doing? Keeper, what are you doing? Great save, O'Leary. And can he get up again? Wow. Excellent recovery there from... From Max O'Leary, the goalkeeper, you have to say. Here is Sears down the right-hand side. One of two fullbacks making his start in uh, for Shrewsbury. There's a chance here inside. Here is Josh Lawrence. Back through to Sears. Chance here. Two in the box. Can he find Sean Whaley? Goal! And Shrewsbury take the lead through Sean Whaley. And that will be Shrewsbury making their way up in the, in the Carabao Cup. They have done so well to finish that off. It was an excellent little move. And uh, it is 1-0 to Shrewsbury. They say that you're at your most vulnerable when you just take the lead. C is doing some juggling. He's getting too confident now. Norburn. Laurent. 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 Laurent on the left peg. Well wide. Here is Upson. Down the right-hand side for Bristol Rovers. Strine Stuart Little, but Norburn snuffs it out. It'll be a throw-in for Bristol Rovers. Here is Stuart Little. A go-go. Stuart Little. I know his name's not Stuart Little. Vela wins it back. Beckles has to be careful. They're being tracked. But O'Leary will get it away as he receives the ball. No, he won't. That's gone straight to a go go who's always going to win the physical battle. There is Daly just coming to the pitch. It's Ginelli. Oh, and it's one all between Bristol Rovers who have equalized so late in the game. Shrewsbury throw away their one goal advantage. And it's all a defensive mix up here at the back. That's a horrible pass out to a go go who is never going to lose that in the air. And Ginelli fires it first time into the bottom right hand corner. Max O'Leary maybe could have gone down quicker, but that's an excellent finish. And it's 1-0 here at Court Lane. Here comes Sean Whaley and Shrewsbury. They've only got a couple minutes to make sure that this doesn't go to a replay and or extra time. But Sean Whaley striving through here. Sean Whaley's one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. Sean Whaley! Oh my word, what a finish! Shrewsbury retake the lead! As he headbutts the corner flag, trying to be like Tim Cahill. But Sean Whaley has just surely won the game for Shrewsbury. It's an excellent finish across the face of the goalkeeper as he beats three men. What a game we're witnessing here. The magic of the cup. Bristol have to equalise again. They didn't even get the ball back before Sean Whaley already took back the lead. Through towards, but Ebanks and Lindell cuts it out. We're halfway through at a time. Can Shrewsbury hold on? Clark, one minute left. Through to Upson. Can Shrewsbury hold out? Everybody should be coming back. 
30 seconds to go. A go-go. They're in the right part where the referee won't call full-time. One more chance. Surely Upson in towards Abraham. Abraham with a chance. Ebanks Lindell with an excellent side tackle. And Vela will get it away. Surely we're already one minute over at a time now. There is Stuart Little. And that's it. Full-time. Shrewsbury have won an excellent football match here at Court Lane in the Carabao Cup. The away fans are so happy. There's the two managers shake hands. But that was a tight and tense affair that was only separated by a bit of individual magic from Sean Whaley. Don't you love to see it? What a finish across the face of the goalkeeper that is. Right into the side netting. Almost coming off the post. That's just exceptional. Oh, you love to see it. Sean Whaley, the man of the match with two goals, it has to be said. He didn't get on the ball much, but when he was on the ball, he made the difference, didn't he? Wow. That's it. That's what an emphatic finish. We are through to the next round of the Cup. Do we feel we can win the Carabao Cup? Of course we can. We're only League One side. Whaley was a great performer, um, and we needed luck. Luck had nothing to do with it. You know no, luck had nothing to do with it at all. Nothing at all. Well, now it's time to tell you about what's going to be happening in the next episode as we start to wrap up this one. In the next episode, you will see me sim through Rochdale and uh, Accrington Stanley, uh, and then we'll come back and we will play Burton Albion uh, as well as Ipswich Town. There, Ipswich Town, always a great game. But that will end today's episode here, so thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate everybody that watches this. Uh, if you'd like to subscribe to see more of this content, um, it's not serious. It's a bit of fun. If we lose, you know, I'll make it. It'll be funny. Um, you see me get slightly angry and things like that. Uh, so do subscribe if you want to see more of this. This will be coming out at least once per week. Um, like the video if you've liked it, of course, and it helps me out uh, tons as we as we try and build this this young new channel. And um, if you've liked the content, uh, let me know if you want to see more FIFA or have any suggestions for the save. Uh, leave a comment down below. Share with your friends as this is the best way to get this uh, off the off the ground, and uh, so I can be motivated to make some more stuff. But thank you again very much for watching. Second time I've said that. Uh, make sure you subscribe to Football for the Fans, where the fans come for everything FIFA and football. Uh, and I will see you guys all next week. Ciao.